Welcome to a lesson on how to determine the fundamental subspaces of a matrix. Let A be an M by N matrix. The fundamental subspaces of A are the null space of A, which is equal to the set of all vectors X such that matrix A times vector X equals a zero vector, the null space of A transpose, which is equal to the set of all vectors X such that A transpose times vector X equals a zero vector, the column space of A, which is equal to the span of the columns of A, and the column space of A transpose, which is equal to the span of the columns of A transpose. This is also equal to the span of the rows of A, or the row space of A. For review, to find a basis for the null space of A, we solve matrix A times vector X equals a zero vector. The vectors in the spanning set form a basis for the null space. The number of free variables indicate how many vectors are in a basis. To find a basis for the column space of A, the pivot columns of matrix A form a basis for the column space of A. We find the pivot columns by solving matrix A times vector X equals the zero vector. A basis will be the corresponding column vectors from the original matrix A. Let's take a look at an example. Let's determine the fundamental subspaces of the given matrix A, which is a three by four matrix. Let's begin by determining the null space of A as well as the column space of A. To do this, we begin by setting up the equation matrix A times vector X equals a zero vector. Notice here I've written the augmented matrix for the equation, where the augmented matrix is a three by five matrix. The fifth column is a column of zeros from the zero vector on the right side of the equation. Writing this augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, notice how we have pivots in column one and column three so if we go back to matrix A, column one and column three form a basis for the column space. So the vector one, zero, zero, and the vector three, three, four form a basis for the column space of matrix A, and therefore we can say the column space of matrix A is equal to the span of these two vectors. And now let's continue solving. The first row of the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form indicates x1 plus 2x2 minus one half x four equals zero. The second row indicates x three plus one half x four equals zero. Notice how there are no pivots in column two and column four, indicating x two and x four are free variables. Let's parameterize the solution by letting x two equal s and x four equal t. Solving the first equation for x one, we have x one equals negative three s plus one half t. Solving the second equation for x three, we have x3 equals negative one half t. And again, we still have x2 equals s and x4 equals t. And therefore the solutions to the equation matrix A times vector x equals a zero vector are all the vectors x in the form of s times the vector negative three, one, zero, zero. Notice how these entries come from the coefficients of s in order from x1 to x4. And then we have plus t times the vector one half zero, negative one half one, where these entries are the coefficients of t in order from x one to x four. Which means the basis for the null space of matrix A would be the vectors negative three, one, zero, zero, and one half zero, negative one half one, or we can say the null space of matrix A is equal to the span of these two vectors. And now we're gonna determine the column space of A transpose as well as the null space of A transpose. Let's first find A transpose. Remember to find A transpose, we take the rows of matrix A and make them the columns of A transpose. And now the next step is to set up the equation A transpose times vector X equals a zero vector, write the augmented matrix, and write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form. Which I've already set up here on the right. Notice how the augmented matrix is a four by four matrix where the fourth column is a column of zeros because, again, of the zero vector on the right side of the equation. Now looking at the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, notice how we have pivots in column one and column two, which means column one and column two of A transpose are a basis for the column space of A transpose, which would be the vectors one, three, three, one, and zero, zero, four, two. And therefore we can say the column space of A transpose, or the row space of A, is equal to the span of these two vectors. And now we continue to solve. 
The first row of the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form indicates x1 equals 0. The second row indicates x2 equals 0. There is no pivot in column 3. x3 is a free variable. And therefore we write x3 equals x3. Parameterizing the solution, let's let x3 equal t. And therefore all these solutions to the equation a transpose times vector x equals a zero vector are all the vectors x in the form of t times the vector 0, 0, 1. Which means the vector 0, 0, 1 forms a basis for the null space of a transpose. Or we can say the null space of a transpose is equal to the span of the vector 0, 0, 1. I hope you found this helpful.